Hi guys, I'm just making this video as a little food for thought in regards to uh, the placement of females in Islam. So I've uh, opened the page here of Islam Basics and uh, I'm going to scroll down and show you uh, something to do with um, the urine of females, female babies. Okay, so let's go down here and look at volume uh, 1, page 60. 1, page 60. Okay, here we are. Okay, this is uh, types of impurities. Okay, the Najis refers to impure substances that the Muslim must avoid and wash off if he should happen to uh, contaminate his clothes, body, and so on. So we know that these are impurities, these are Najis impurities. The Muslim must wash it off uh, because they are impure. Okay, so bear that in mind, and let's go down here to 9A. 9A. Vomiting of a person, urine, and poop. Ready? Uh, there is uh, agreement among the scholars that these objects are impure, but a slight amount of vomit hmm, and urine of an unweaned baby boy are overlooked and pardoned. It is sufficient just to sprinkle water over the urine of an unweaned baby boy. Hmm. This is based on a hadith where a woman, she uh, came to the Messenger of Allah with her unweaned son. After a while, the baby urinated on the Prophet's lap. The Prophet uh, called for some water, which was sprinkled over his clothes, and he did not give them a complete washing. Okay. Hmm. All right, let's read on here. The urine of a baby boy should have water sprinkled on it, and the urine of a baby girl must be washed off. The urine of a baby girl must be washed off. Therefore, a baby girl's urine is classified as najis. It's impure. Hmm. Interesting. What do you think? Let's go on. I want to bring page 11a. 11a. The urine and stools of an animal that are permissible to eat. Both of these are considered impure. Okay. Uh, related to the messenger of Allah, when to call, answer the call of nature, he asked uh, Abdul to bring him three stones. Abdul said, I cannot find three stones, so I brought. So he found uh, two stones, an animal dung, and brought them to him. He looked at the two stones and threw away the dung, saying, It's impure. Hmm. Okay. Uh, the hadith is related by al-Bukhari. Huh? In one narration it states, It is impure. It is the stool of a donkey. A little amount of it is pardoned, though, as it is very difficult to completely protect oneself from it. Hmm. So, a little bit of animal pee and poop is okay. Alright. What about the urine of the animals whose meat is not eaten, like the mule, donkey, and horse? He said that, it, that, he said that they used to come into contact with these during their battles, and that they did not wash it off. Their bodies are closed. They didn't wash it off. Not, see? Not... As for the urine and stools of animals whose meat is permissible, hmm, it's pure. <laughs> what? What? As for the urine and stools of meat whose animal uh, whose meat is permissible, it is pure. So, animal pee and poo is pure. But baby girl urine is impure. Animal pee and poo is pure. But an but girls, female baby girls pee is impure. It's very interesting. None of the companions held that it was impure. In fact, the statement that it is impure is of recent origin and not only and not uh, from the early generations of the companions. Hmm. Interesting. 
what you think guys? Third Anna a group of people uh, came to Medina and became ill in the stomach. The Prophet ordered them to get a milking she-camel and drink a mixture of milk and pee. Hmm. Muhammad ordering them to drink pee but female baby girls urine is impure. Hmm. This hadith is related uh, by Ahmed al-Bukhari and Muslim and points to a camel's urine as being pure. Therefore, by analogy, other permissible animals' urine may also be considered pure. Animals' urine may be considered pure and a baby girl's urine is impure. Hmm. Those who claim that that was permissible only for those uh, people are incorrect. The scholars permit, without any objection, the sale of sheep's poop and the use of camel's pee in their medicine, both in the past and in the present. Again, without any objection. Animal pee and poop is considered pure and can, can be consumed into your stomachs, you Muslim, but a baby girl's pee is impure. Animals poop and pee is better than a baby girl's pee. You can swallow animal pee and poo but you know you have to wash off a little bit of a female infant's urine if it even gets on your clothes. This shows that they were it was considered pure. Apparently the urine and stools of every living animal permissible to eat is pure. There's nothing to prove otherwise. A little bit of food for thought guys. And before I close the page here, I want to go back to page 11a. A little interesting tidbit here. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry. 9a. 9a. Speaking about the urine of a baby boy as being pure and the urine of a baby girl must be washed off. When I read down at the bottom here, there's a little comment added. It says sprinkling is sufficient as long as the boy is still nursing. If he eats solid food, his urine must be washed off from his clothes and body. There is no disagreement on the, la on the latter point. Perhaps the reason for this exception is that the male baby's urine is, is that people had a tendency to carry their male babies around. Did you see that? They had a tendency... <laughs> to carry their male babies around. What about you female baby Muslims? You didn't get carried around? See you later, guys.